Hey guys, Jason with Fat Fender Garage, and have you ever wondered how to put AC in your 5356? I'm gonna show you how. So what we have right here is an AC valance for a 1953-1956 Ford F100 pickup truck. So we've seen these in the past, um, and every time we've bought one, they're garbage. We actually have to modify it, cut it. This is always off center uh, when we purchase it from the other place. And we end up having to cut it, refiberglass it. And we start factoring in the amount of shop time that goes to fix it. It's like not worth it. Like, you're like man, it's just frustrating. And it didn't matter because that's how they were all made. And so there's no control over fixing it. It was just off. So this is for 1953, 1956. Now, a 1956, what's the difference between a 53 and 56? Well, one of the things is gonna be this little section right here. Uh, a 56, the whole thing kind of opens up, and in 53 to 55, you've got uh, a little smaller section, but you also got uh, an ashtray that has to pull out and go right here. So we just kind of kept it uh, the same for all of them. Um, it kind of balances out. Uh, the glove box can kind of pull down and it has some clearance here. The next thing is we've got this nice flat spot here and then your steering column is going to go right through this hole right here and then your uh, usually about a three and a half to four inch uh, drop right here for your column drop is going to go about right here and, and bolt up right here. You drill holes through here to install it on the bottom of the dash where you want it and then you've got your AC vents. Now one of the things we did is Right here, we tried to create a little tiny flat spot right here so that um, the, we use the Resto-Mod uh, Nano Minis that just go right here. You don't need a big giant you know, vent right here. Uh, it's kind of a more of a classic little smaller cab truck. And so we use the, the smaller little uh, Nano uh, Mini vents. They go right here. We usually put like a couple here, your AC controls, and then one more over in the corner. And so uh, we use a lot of the, the stealth because we just feel like it's the most classic looking, simple, clean. Um, these trucks are just, that's how they are. If you got a 53, 56, it's vintage, it's classic. It's just got a lot of character and you're not trying to just like throw too much at it. And so you wanna keep things kind of uh, really refined and simple inside. So we've kind of gone with those uh, real simple controls right there, there'll be three of them. They'll control the vents, the control uh, the AC and they'll control the fan speed. So anyways, uh, pretty cool product. This is up on our website. You can actually go and purchase it. We do have them in stock and keep them in stock. It is made out of a, a good fiberglass. It's, it's pretty durable. And uh, you can, at this point, you can either, uh, you could wrap it in leather, I suppose, if you wanted to, or you can actually just take it and have it painted to match whatever uh, paint is inside your cab. So we also have these for 67 to 72. Uh, we've got those designed to fit in your truck. Uh, you can purchase th those on our website as well. Um, currently don't have one here. We do have them in stock with our vendor. Uh, we'll get one here and uh, we'll show you one here in the next few weeks what they look like on another video. But uh, very cool product, 1953, 1956. Uh, great spot to put your AC uh, vents and controls. Now, don't put them in your dash, right? Because I see too many dashes that are just like cut and holes in them and if you ever want to change it later you don't want to have to go in and, and uh, weld up your dash because you packed it all up so try to keep the the dash in the truck as pure as you can and uh, put them in little parts like this and it keeps it real simple and a little cleaner and it also hides it's kind of that little valance is kind of hides the view as you look down underneath and see the little ac or pedals or some wiring it kind of gives you like you know, three and a half, four inches more just to obstruct the view of what's under the dash. Because as you know, under the dash, there's a lot of stuff you gotta put in a truck and there's not a lot of room. And this kind of provides just a little bit more, you know, uh, of a, to block the view of any of that stuff. So great product, 1953, 1956 Ford pickup truck. I keep forgetting to say this, they keep reminding me. Go to our YouTube channel, make sure you're, if you're not already there, go there and like, subscribe, Hit the bell, follow along. We're gonna have videos every single week for our Tech Tuesday. And be sure to go to our Instagram, our Facebook, follow along, and you're gonna see lots of cool product, products that we're doing that are one-off products, 
because we've got a lot of builds going on that we show off. You're going to see a lot of cool things like new parts that you're going to come out that we're going to come out with. You might get hints and see those a little bit sooner on our uh, Instagram channel, and also see cool things like chassis and stuff like that that we're uh, building and selling. Thanks.